We are now in a position to put uh, cost and revenue together to find the output at which profit is maximized and also to find out how much that profit will be. There are two ways of doing this. Uh, the first and very simpler method is to use you know, the total cost and total revenue. We should know that total revenue minus total cost is equal to our profit. So TR minus TC is simply profit and the symbol for profit that we use is pi. The second method that we use is a slightly complicated. It's the one where we use the marginal and average cost and marginal and average revenue and come up with marginal profit, which can then be multiplied by quantity to find our total profit. So we will look into both these methods, but first thing to understand is the idea of profit maximization. Now we can say the profit maximization will happen at a point where the gap between the revenue and cost is the largest. So the gap between total revenue and cost, wherever that is maximum is where we will maximize our profit. Now here again, the cost implies our economic cost, which means both the implicit and explicit cost, which means we are also taking into account opportunity cost. So when we look at our economic profit also, we're looking at uh, firm's total revenue minus the total opportunity cost of its operation. That is both explicit and implicit cost. In other words, I can write economic profit is equal to total revenue minus total economic cost. Now we say that in the short run, when you look at profitability, in the short run, the firm can have three kinds of profits. One could be what we call our supernormal profit. Another word for this is abnormal profit. Another one is what we call normal profit. And last is what we call economic loss. Let's talk about these three scenarios. What do they mean? Normal profit is simply the idea that total revenue minus total cost is equal to zero. In other words, this is where the revenue is equal to our um, all the opportunity costs of the resources which are used in the production by the business. Now, supernormal or abnormal profit, on the other hand, is a scenario where you're looking at basically uh, profit over and above the normal profit. In other words, it is the profit over and above the opportunity cost of the resources used in production by the firm. Hence, total revenue, when it's greater than the total cost, and we are looking at economic cost here, then the firm is making what we call abnormal or supernormal profits. The last scenario is that of an economic loss. And we say in this scenario, total revenue is actually less than total cost. Now, when we make uh, an economic loss, we can argue this, that the firm's revenue is lower than the opportunity cost of the resources used, which means if they were employing their resources elsewhere, they could have gotten a better return from their investment. Now, we could also argue that when it comes to normal profit, it is a satisfactory kind of a scenario or it is a, a scenario where the firm will not be thinking about, you know, using its resources elsewhere because at least the revenue is equal to not only the explicit cost, but there is also implicit or opportunity cost also covered. On the other hand, when it comes to super normal profit, this is a scenario which is more than satisfactory and will make the firm happy because they are doing over and above the normal profit or over and above the opportunity cost also. If they had uh, employed their resources elsewhere, they could not still have gotten such a great return that they're getting here. So super normal profit is above satisfactory kind of a situation, while normal profit is what we assume a satisfactory situation. It's not a bad situation because you had you use your resources elsewhere you would have gotten a similar return. Economic loss is when you are going to now contemplate whether you are using your resources uh, properly or not, or you could have done better by using your resources elsewhere. So that's why we call this situation to be not satisfactory. So how do firms maximize profit? We say firms maximize profit when MC equals to MR. Now, when MC equals to MR, this means that the extra cost of producing one extra unit is equal to extra revenue. 
why is this condition of MC equals to MR the profit maximizing condition? We can see this by looking at the first the case when MR is greater than MC. If MR is greater than MC, we can say this, that the extra revenue is greater than the extra cost. And if the extra revenue is greater than the extra cost, clearly the marginal profit or extra profit of producing a, any unit will be positive. And if marginal profit is positive, one could argue this, that every time I produce an extra unit, I get an extra profit, then my total profit clearly will go up when the marginal profit is positive. On the other hand, when MR is less than MC, we can say this, when the marginal revenue is less than marginal cost, then the marginal profit is negative. And in such a case, when the marginal profit is negative, our total profit will fall. So clearly, when MR is greater than MC, since marginal profit is positive, firm should always produce more. While when MR is less than MC, firm should produce less. But why does it happen that when MC equals to MR, you will see the total profit to become maximum. Let's see this also through a diagram to understand. But the first thing we needed to understand was that MR greater than MC, we should always produce more because the marginal profit is positive. When MR is less than MC, then marginal profit is negative. And uh, when MC equals to MR, I am saying the total, the total profit is maximum. To understand why MC equals to MR is actually the profit maximizing level of output, we can draw a diagram of MC and MR and see why MC equals to MR results in profit maximization. So let's say if this is my demand curve or marginal revenue of a firm, which is a price taker, of course, because demand is perfectly uh, elastic in this case. And then the marginal cost is, for example, like this. Uh, and we saw that marginal cost is U-shaped because of the law of diminishing return. The MC equals to MR, MR happens at this quantity, let's say Q star. Now, prior to Q star, what is happening is this, that MR is greater than MC. And we just said this, when MR is greater than MC, we should produce more. But beyond Q star, look at the MC. The MC is more than the marginal revenue, and MR can be said to be less than MC, which means quantity should go down. At therefore this Q star quantity, MC equals to MR. So we can say this, that prior to Q star, because MR is greater than MC, we should produce more because our marginal profit is positive. And because marginal profit is positive, we will have our total profit to go up. On the other hand, when MR is less than MC, our marginal profit is negative and as a result of marginal profit being negative total profit will fall so prior to q star uh, our profit will be rising because mr is greater than mc after q r uh, q star our profit will be falling and therefore at q star our profit will be maximum so that's why mc equals to mr is our profit maximizing uh, sort of condition and therefore, if a firm has a goal to maximize profit, they will produce at that point.